Hi, Warwick. Time for my weekly address. I want to touch on some things that happened at the City Council meeting this past week. The City Council docketed a resolution. Um, this resolution deals with e extending a mayor's term from two years to four years and also making it a maximum of two terms. A mayor will only be able to serve eight years. I'm generally supportive of this. What happens now is it has to go up to the General Assembly. We, have a home, we don't have a home rule charter, we have a legislative charter, which means we can't put things for referendum without their permission at the General Assembly. It goes to the General Assembly and then it's going to be up to you, the voter. Like I said, I'm generally supportive of it. Um, the council also, they're going to keep two-year terms, but they're going to have term limits. It's going to be uh, six two-year terms. Um, I would prefer to see that term limit to be the same as the mayor's, but yeah, you know, you don't get everything you want, so I am supportive of this. It's going to go on the ballot in November, and it'll be up to you, the voters. Some other things that happen, um, docketed for next month, um, they want to restructure the school committee. Currently we have five school committee members. Two are at large and three are districts. They want to change that to nine uh, school committee members, nine, all nine wards. I'm not in favor of that one and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll oppose it. I, I think that it'll become very political and it's too big of a body for that. Um, some other legislation that was proposed is there where the city council would have to approve the mayor hiring directors and department heads. I'm completely opposed to that. I think that would make the whole process political. The mayor needs to be able to appoint people he can trust and has faith in. I don't think you're going to draw a lot of applicants that would have to go through a whole process like that publicly going before a city council. So these are coming up. I don't know if they're going to pass or not. I just want to put them on your radar. Weekly sanitation report. This week we're up to seven trucks. Um, some of them are literally sitting there. We need a fuel line on one. Uh, the fuel line is complicated. There are regulators in it. We've searched the entire country. We just can't get the part. It's been sitting there broken for going on five weeks now. Uh, we have a couple that are really close to coming back in service. We have one with, with a bad turbo, and this is one of the new trucks. And we're waiting for them to get that from the factory. So we're working on it. It's delayed. I appreciate your patience. Uh, we've been usually mopping up by Friday. Uh, people are asking about the overtime. We're not paying a lot of overtime for this. We're doing split shifts. Um, we only have the seven trucks, for, we need 14 for the day. So we have a crew going out in the morning, we have a crew going out in the afternoon. The only two overtime is coming on Saturdays when we have to go up and finish up the weeks of collections. As you can see, we're here at the Sawtooth Building in Appenag. This is the building that we're leasing. We're, all city offices are going to be housed there when it's done. Uh, construction's going great. AAA is already open in the lobby, open for business. Um, the rest of the building is going to be used by us, and they're putting up the sheetrock. They're doing the mill work. Uh, they have a projected completion date by August 1st, so it looks like it's going to be a reality. This week, the city was very excited to unveil the mobile library. Have a listen. So the Warwick Public Library applied for a grant to have a mobile library. We'll take um, books, but also computers and social services provided by West Bay Community Action into underserved neighborhoods in Warwick to make it easier to um, provide access to people who can't make it to actual libraries. Also just to provide access in the summer, there's a big deficit in um, the summer slide and reading for students. So we'll go into underserved neighborhoods and provide access to our summer reading program and try to help prevent that. Charlie, raise your right forearm and repeat after me. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear that you will obey and defend the Constitution of the United States? I was very excited this week to swear in canine officer Charlie. Charlie's going to be a compassion officer for the police department. She'll be used in our community events, and if there are people in distress um, who need calming, she'll be utilized for that as well. Uh, he's, Charlie's going to be undergoing very extensive training over the no f next few weeks. Uh, she was purchased through a fundraising effort. It didn't come from city money, and they've raised some money to take care of in the future. One of our police officers are act actually going to give her a home to live in. So we're really excited about this. It's going to work out great. Well, that's it for this week, Warwick. I want you to have a great weekend. The weather's supposed to be pretty nice out. Enjoy the spring. We'll see you next week.